Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I want to show you a video consult from a man in New York. His name is Kespa and he has water coming into the garage and he actually just paid a company to come out and try to solve the problem from the outside. And of course it rained the very next day, the water's back and he has the exact same problem. So we can actually take a look at what this other company did, why it didn't work and what is needed to solve the problem. Let's take a look. There you are. Good morning. There you go. Good morning. Where are where are you located? Where are you at? I'm a, I'm in New York. Okay, yeah. So it's about the same kind of brightness that I got outside. Not much. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. So what can I do for you? All right. So I'm having this problem in my garage. Uh every time it rains, I get some water from underneath, like right by like uh, the outer wall on my right side of the house. And that's the only side where I get water in. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not the driveway. It's the side of the house. Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. And are you able to go outside yet and show me, or can you just tell me, yeah. you know, <laughs> no, perfect. Absolutely. And um, can you turn, rotate your camera to the side? So it's a wider picture. There you go. Yeah. I like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a nice little patio right there. And so water's coming along in that wall, and that's the garage. Yeah. Okay. Have Let's start with, have you checked the downspout, and does that drain very well? Yeah. That goes okay. all the way down to the, to the street. Okay, perfect. And, and connected to the gutter. Okay. Does it come out at the curb, it, through the curb? Comes out from here. Perfect. Okay. So point your camera back towards the house between you know between the homes. Okay, per yeah. So you can see, wait, wait, stay there. You can see that the neighbors got their downspout pointing straight out. That's probably causing a little bit of the problem, but not all of it. Um okay. so you have a little strip of grass right there. Okay, go ahead and walk on back towards the, the garage. And you can stop right there. So, unfortunately, there's two ways that you can try to fix this. The best way is to actually pull those pavers and you know, dig down along that wall and put in the French drain, the you know, waterproofing, the footer tile, and send that out to the street. It looks like you could connect to the downspout. Maybe it might be deep enough. It might not. Um, do you understand what I just said? Yeah. Am I able to send you like a video of what they did? Because I had somebody, they came twice and tried to put like, they did take off the pavers and they put concrete. Uh, am I able to send you like videos and pictures or not? Yes. Yep. I see it. This is when they dig. Right? Yeah. Keep going. They actually did a great job of excavating. They are down to the footer level. And, that, okay, that video stopped. Yeah, now this is a picture. So this is... They went under the footer. What they did. They poured concrete. Okay. Yeah, it's too bad that they did that, but they're, that's, that's fixable. That is fixable. So it looks to me, is there any more video of, of that that you need to show me? Uh, so this is the plastic that they put on top. Right, they got a visqueen. And then they put like the sand and then they put that. And this is how the water's coming in after they did it exactly okay yeah they they actually just made a place for that water to come right inside the house um okay so is there plastic under the heater also is that what that is no no i put the toilet paper just to see got it, it, got it. when it uh, when it, if it gets wet that means that's the spot kind of thing right i got it okay yeah are you able to rotate that phone and, and, and see if it uh, 
Okay, no, never mind. It's it's it was shot in the phone position. It's good. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Um, go this back. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go back to the video where they're uh, trenching the very first one, and you can just pause it. So you can see what they did. They're actually they're right at the bottom of the pour of the footer of for the floor of the garage. Do you understand? They're right at the bottom, actually going under it a little bit. Yeah. And if if they filled, I'm trying to make it easier for whoever does this, whether you or somebody else. If they filled that and the concrete goes under the footer there's kind of a problem uh, so just if if possible it's better to break the concrete out you said correct um because we want to get we want to be right along the original footer wall so i've done about four of these exactly exactly what you're showing me and the first one we did we we went right along their new pour right alongside where somebody thought they could solve the problem by putting concrete up there Okay, we went right along. It didn't work. It did not work. We had to come back and break that concrete out. Better is to pull that concrete out. Okay. Okay. Much better. Also, get rid of the plastic on the top. In fact, you might even try that first. Get rid of that plastic on the top. What what happens is that any moisture that any moisture is going to sit on top of that plastic and we'll find a way through that wall so get rid of the plastic that's not a good thing to put down at all okay i'm and definitely you, have them break the concrete because that's that's the yeah it's not hard to break i mean it, how old yeah. is how old is that it's a uh, few days oh no problem <laughs> that'll that'll break right out of there when it's 10 20 years old the longer concrete is down the harder it gets <laughs> but but a jackhammer or even a pry bar will probably break that loose <laughs> okay but i still have to remove the pavers right yep. you still got to remove pavers break the concrete do all of that so, okay but i'll I send you a on the outside that way they take off the plastic they break the concrete that they put in there which is useless and then you just do the whole thing one shot from the outside. That would that would be the easiest thing for them to do. The easiest thing for them to do. Okay, hopefully you've watched all this video to get to this point. Let me review this um, with a little bit more help from some illustrations on the video that he showed us. And this is a very common problem. And concrete does not solve problems when you pour it up against the wall, whether it be a walk or as they tried to do, they tried to put another footer and stop the water, but that's not where the water's coming from. Take a look. So this company that he hired, as well as most people, they really think that the water's coming across the pavers and getting into the, the garage, in this case, right there at the seam. But that's not where the water comes from. You know, I've seen so many videos where people pour driveways and sidewalks up against a crawl space or the side of the house trying to stop the water, but that's not where the water comes from. So what these guys did was they dug a nice trench, they went below the footer, which is not good, and they filled this area with concrete, thinking that's going to stop the water. And to make it worse, they added the plastic, the Visqueen. All this does is hold moisture, and it allows it to seep right through the wall. And this is what most people do. They really think that, you know, pouring a driveway or pouring a sidewalk up against a crawl space or a basement is going to solve that water problem. But the thing is, the water is not coming from the top. Yeah, sometimes a little bit does. But most of the time, it comes from underground. Due to capillary action, when it rains, water comes up through the ground and it comes through the cement and enters the floor or the wall right at that seam. And it happens every time. To solve this problem, there must be drainage put at that foundation level. So yes, he's going to have to have those guys remove the concrete and put in a footer system. And you've seen us do that on many videos. This system works. I promise you that if you install this correctly, use the blackjack number 57 to seal the wall, 
not plastic. This will work and solve the problem. He's also going to need a sump pump because it will be lower than the downspout drain. And he's going to have to lift that water up, send it over to the downspout drain, which will carry it with gravity out to the street. Yeah. So I'll type all that up here. and You won't get it till this afternoon. You probably won't even get my invoice from PayPal till this afternoon because there's still somebody waiting. But um, if there's any questions as they're doing it, you shoot me an email. Um, we can do another session and I can, I'm not going to charge it. You know, just let me see what's going on. Um, even, are you have an iPhone? I do. Yeah. So, so yeah, you, I'll send you my number. You can just, uh, whatever they call that FaceTime. FaceTime. Yeah. And, and just okay. show me what they're doing. Um, I might not be able to do it, but it depends on what I'm doing. You know, if I'm busy, but you okay. can try, just try it. You know, we can see if there's any questions. All right. Great. Thank you very much. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Have a great day. Okay, just a quick reminder about Live Help. It's really easy for you to sign up for Live Help. Go to the website, fill out the form, and as soon as I put together the session for the Live Help, I will send you a notice. And it's usually on Saturday morning, Sunday morning, between 7 and 12 uh, noon. It is really simple to do. We use Zoom, and it's a lot of fun, and you'll actually enjoy learning about the problem that you have and how to go about fixing it. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.